Donna and welcome to my channel. So for today I have here Zoe. Zoe is my eldest. We decided to make something fun for I Zoe so and mommy. Me. So we have an ice cream maker but I instead of making ice, ice cream I say we are going to make I sorbet. Sorbet. Okay sorbet is like a frozen dessert but it doesn't have any dairy in it so it's like maybe similar to ice cream but um you just use fruits and fruit juices for it, like mostly sugar, sugar things, yeah. So, um, but for today, we just have to use um, frozen fruits and some fruit juices to make into a sorbet. We have here a pack of frozen, frozen fruit. fruit. Yeah, okay, so this is a mixture of fruits like dragon fruit, <laughs> mangoes, I want strawberries. strawberries and peaches. For those of you who have who don't know yet what a dragon fruit is, uh, this is a dragon fruit. So we have a dragon fruit inside, but um, in the photo it is the one with the the purple inside. But um, I but reckon this, is a pink one this one has a white inside. But then a dragon fruit looks like this. What we have to do first is we have to puree the fruit. So I would use water and Fruit juice. juice to puree the fruit. So I'm going to put 340 grams of the fruit mixture in here. It's I have to make it into batches because it wouldn't fit in that um, Gucci bullet blender. We don't know what goes in there because it's a mixture. So whatever I get is what goes in here. All right, so I have 340. You put it here, Baba. Come on, Zoe, put, put it here. Ooh. Ooh. So this is half cup of water and half cup of orange juice. We're gonna put it in there. Just be careful. There you go. Okay. okay and now we'll put the lid on and then put in the neutral bullet. So I will just put this here for now because I have to make another one because the recipe says 680 grams of um, fruit blend. Thank you, and baby. Yeah, after. And that is only 340 grams. We'll make another one. Oh, did everything go in? Yes, it did. Okay, and then I'll just put some ooh, water again. We'll put it here again. And now we will add more juice. Now, uh, this time we will put apple juice in it. Can I put it? Yeah, you can. So we'll put four cups of apple juice. Apple juice. Ooh, that's a lot of juice, isn't it? Four cups. Is there? That's good. I hope it will taste good. And now we will put this into the um, okay. churner. Okay, so this is our ice cream maker. Yeah. We put it in the other ice cream maker. Just put it here. So this is the bottle. This is the one that turns it. Can I put it? Wait. Okay. Can you put this here? So this is the mixture and then we'll just pour it into the churn. Oh, can you hold it baby? So the instruction said you can only put about two thirds in this one. Perfect. Uh, can I have some of the Perfect, perfect. Oh, can I stir it? We don't have to stir it anymore. Let's begin. Look at that color. It's a red color. So this is how much the mixture is inside the trainer. I just put the trainer in there. Okay, 
Okay, ready? So one of the ice cream is churning, so he wants to eat the dragon fruit. Okay, we will cut this up. Cut! 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 cut. Okay. Hey! So you want a big piece? And that's how we eating the dragon food while we're waiting for the sorbet. How is it? Is it yummy? How come you can't say anything now? Say something! Yummy! Is it yummy? Another one after! Another one after? Oh no, so this is what's left. Okay, so that is the finished product. We just have to put it in the freezer. So Zoe and Daddy are not putting it in a container. Yeah, and then we will put it in the freezer in that container. I'm gonna eat some. Oh, you can eat some now. Oh, I was yeah. gonna eat some. But it's like a sorbet now. 